Okay guys, question number one. Um, mark scheme for this, basically you got to plot the points, it's very straightforward. Things to look out for, most people can do this. It was for the first mark was for a suitable scale. So the first one was for scale. We had to have a good scale on both axes um, and using up more than half the space, not going up in threes or anything like that. Most people did the same scale, which is the logical thing to do. Second point was for the points, points being correctly plotted. So scale is the first one, points or plotted points. Plotted points is the second one. And the third and final one was for the line. And it had to be straight up to a minimum of 2.5 to uh, times 10 to the uh, 8. So up to this far on the stress axis, it had to be straight to a minimum of that. And it had to be curved or smooth at the point where it curved. This is basically what it should look like. Dead straight line and curving over there. After that, you're going to find the Young's modulus of the white with the metal. Um, the obviously as you know so the young modulus is uh, stress over strain and so it is basically the gradient of a stress strain curve so what you want to do is take a nice big gradient triangle um, always if you have a line that goes through zero please 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 make sure you use zero because it just means you get much less likely to make a mistake so nice big gradient triangle something like that read off your stress, divide it by the strain, and you get your value. And the range that's acceptable for this mark is, um, the answer comes out to 1.05 times 10 to the uh, 11. And it's got a plus or minus, you can basically, this value for 1.05 is okay from 0 0.90 all the way up to uh, 1.1. Okay, for the uh, Young's modulus. So, first mark is for using is for actually showing, understanding that you're using the gradient. So it's basically a gradient mark, something like showing that you know that it's the gradient, and making a triangle, doing some sort of thing like that. And the second one, of course, is for getting a correct value in the range that I've just stated there. So those are your first five marks. Money for jam. Next up. Uh, steel rod, it's going to be used in the construction of the bridge. The tension of the rod will be uh, 10 kilonewtons and the rod must extend by no more than one millimeter. Calculate the minimum cross-sectional area for the required for the rod. Now, there is a real technique to all of these which you must, must at this stage start applying really in earnest. Basically, I'm going to show you now, and I hope this is big enough for you to read. E, Young's modulus, is of course stress over strain, which is of course F over A all over uh, delta L over L. It's also equal to, and this is the version of the, of the equation that I really think you should lock into your memory banks, it's therefore the same as F times by uh, delta, F times by delta by L over A times by delta L, that's an A there, okay? Force times length over area times delta L. Now, once you've got this bit, and I'm just gonna put E back on the end of it over there, once you've got it to this stage, then what you really wanna do is we're trying to find the minimum cross-section area. So we wanna rearrange this equation to make A the subject. If we do this, we can say, well, we'll multiply by A and divide by E, and that'll give us what we want. And so we can now say, if I do this up here, the cross-section area is gonna be equal to Force times by length over delta L, uh, not delta L, area, sorry, times by, uh, oh, I'm messing this up. I'm switching the A for the E, excuse me. Delta L times by E, the Young's modulus. It's been a long day. There we go. Anyway, once we've got this, now at this stage, then stub in your values. A lot of people when doing this, they think, oh, I'll just, I'll get it to this stage and I'll start putting numbers in and then I'll start rearranging numbers. It's much, much easier to rearrange uh, symbols and then sub numbers in once you've got the equation in the, in the form that you want. Once you do that, basically, you put in the values that you've got given in the thing, in the, in the, in the, uh, in the data sheet, so your area is going to be equal to the force, which is 10 kilonewtons times 10 to the 3, okay? 
uh, times by the length, which is of course 3 meters, 3.0, divided by the um, extension, the maximum permissible extension, which is 1 millimeter, so that's 1 times 10 to the minus 3, and then multiply that, of course, by the Young's modulus, which is 1.9 times 10 to the 11. Notice that even though that's given to 3 sig fig, I dropped it because everything else is to 2. So, there we go. Once you do that, um, you should be able to calculate the answer. And I think, again, I might just leave you to do this. Find this answer for yourself. So, um, no, I'll tell you what it is. Basically, it comes out to 1.579. Da, 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 da. So really, what you want is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 4 metres. Metres squared. Okay, so that is that one. Question number one.